I love drags. They are good for fast music, slow music, the end of the song, the middle of the song. They have great punctuation and they're very, very fun. Hi everybody, thanks for coming to dance with me. I'm Laura and today we're gonna go over drags. In this video, I'll be following, and my good friend Rafal will be leading. But first, Patreon. Thank you, people of Patreon, for making this video free for everyone in the world, including people like you. If you want to help them out, it's a voluntary subscription, and the link is in the description. Now, before we get into moving drags, let's first get into that initial lunge. Definitely over half the battle. Let's see it from a few angles. some pointers. First, that position itself. Let's check out what Rafal's doing. To initiate drags, I forward rocks to my partner. I actually lean away to create a stretch. Then I bring Laura to close position and my chest twists to my right while I step back onto my left leg. Notice how my right leg connects to Laura as we settle. My goals are balance and support. Bam! You can end it to end a song just like that! So pretty! At first glance, it can look like I'm putting a lot of weight on Rafal, and in some versions I do, but more commonly in my experience, this is an illusion. Most of the time, I'm just making a big lunge. Rafal catches my back and causes a big step forward. My right leg holds up my body weight, not Rafal. Beautiful, I love drags, but what if I don't want to do them all song long? Let's talk exits. To exit, I just shift my weight back to my right and bring myself next to Laura. And off we go. All right, now let's move the drags and just like Charleston and walking, it's important to feel that cross body, opposite arm and leg connection. As I step forward, I keep lunging underneath my body weight. After you feel comfortable, play with the rhythm. Okay, those are the basic ideas. Now let's kick it up to medium spicy, three out of five peppers. We're gonna add an inside turn to the entrance. Let's see it from a few angles. technique. For the inside turn entrance, the main ideas are the same. After the tuck turn, Rafal starts with a forward rock step. While I spin towards him, he backs up as needed and catches my back as soon as possible to bring me into drag position. Look at how early and how wrapped around me Rafal's hand is. To follow this, the trickiest thing I've noticed is simply not correcting. It feels so counterintuitive to barrel towards a person, but if you feel the spin is directly towards the lead, just have faith and spin directly towards the lead. One big question I always hear is how am I not elbowing Rafal in the face? Two main things. Thing one, as soon as I feel Rafal's hand on my back, I'm sneaking my elbow up and over. Thing two, Rafal knows I have two arms and he isn't bringing me into his body until my left elbow passes. Here's a bonus exit we like. Let's see it from a few angles. technique. For the spin exit, I rotate Laura to my left and create what feels like a tuck turn on my left side. I avoid moving her off her axis. 
I always keep Laura's bone structure in mind, but especially here when I rotate her so much. For tuck turn, I keep her hands in front of her. You can see we get into drags and my right arm is behind me. Then during the dip or tuck, Rafal puts my arm in front of me. From there, he spins my trunk and my arm together. With this more complicated exit, my main objective is to step underneath myself, no matter where I'm spinning or at what rate, see the triple step exit, my feet have to find the beat and lock under my body. The more complicated the move, the more I am a unit. Now, of course, you can take this move and make it ridiculously fancy. We won't go over how to do these moves here, but if you're particularly intrepid, try to learn them on your own. Remember, there's always that gear at the bottom right to help slow the video down so you can pick things up for yourself. After you feel comfortable, play with the timing of everything. Make the move live in the moment. There you go, I hope you had fun, I hope you love drags, and if you do, smash that like and subscribe button. And if you like the music, it's the Brooks Promo Orchestra, and you can find a link to buy it in the description, and half the money that I get from this channel goes towards organizations that support African diasporic artists and art to honor the founders of Lindy Hop, and the best way to learn to dance is to dance. Mm -hmm.